overseas so far away, in Washington, the USA, the famed Smithsonian had its say. This bird is like none of our age, but now it seems has left life's stage. Glory to the one who tracks her trail, but hunters all seem doomed to fail. For this, the strangest mystery, is now the bird life's holy grail. a little bird who was known around the world for a life that seemed absurd. For surely nature had decreed that parrots would inhabit trees. And one place they should not be found was living here. 
on stony ground, burrowed down beyond daylight, with no pure joy of sunny flight. And light brings out the thrill of parrots, the masterpiece of nature's palette. And why live a life of constant fear until it finally disappeared, the victim of the predators who rule this night in this harsh land? And so the hunt takes life and nest, the age-old story, the endless, bloody survival test. The sun goes down like a molten rock. The little bird now sets her clock. Dusk takes its time to settle in, before the nocturne can begin. The battleground has now been cleared, for some to fear, some to be feared. bird who was once more found not to be preserved but mercilessly hunted down. So many expeditions tried. Men, camels and horses died but she never really went away. She was just too smart to find on ruthless land where few survived. And was she hiding close nearby when Burke and Wills lay down to die? Back in the 19th century, the slaughter had begun. Add to the feral foreign killers, the get-rich hunters with their guns. So 
century had not been seen. Two dead birds had been found in Queensland as we jumped to the year 2015. With recorded calls, a bird is lured. Its existence finally proved. With photographs and video, all doubt had been removed. As a porous occidentalis missing, presumed extinct. Its status now endangered. Population indistinct. Ecologist Steve Murphy went listening for their song. Australia's softest choir was out there all along. Their tiny little voices kept the hope strong. Sundown in the Spinifex, Easter Saturday 2015, a time for resurrection. Murphy and partner Rachel Barr have erected a mist net, an ancient Japanese device for harmlessly catching birds. And Murphy is busy broadcasting recorded calls. Steve! Steve, get here! I think we've caught a bloody night parrot! My god, I think you're right! Okay, I'll pin it while you snip the net and we can free it. Very carefully, Rachel. Trust me, Steve. We're not gonna blow it now. <laughs>
released and scoots away, but Rachel can easily track her from a helicopter, and soon, another bird is traced. Indigenous blessing, a blueprint for all Australia. Thank you. 